All right, so I've cut these pieces. Well, this piece that used to come across the front here. Oops, it was all one piece, and then it connected back here into those pins. And like I was saying before, this way I can have each piece uh, stay on this side, and then this one stay on that side. I've cut the crossbars out. And basically what I end up with, this, all, this fit really nice. Um, still gonna retain this piece here with this little slot fitting over that pin. And then I'm gonna weld this so this is rigid. And then I'll get this all straightened out and then I'll weld this as well so that that piece is fixed. And then we have the same thing, oops, same thing over here. Come on, there you go. Same thing there. Uh, this will get straightened out, you know, I'll hold it level, weld this all up, set this where it needs to be, weld that up. And you can see then what I've got is the ability to bring the, uh, the tug uh, right into the tailwheel. And then uh, across these here, this is where I'll put the pivoting cradle mechanism that will capture the tailwheel. So um, this should work out okay. It's a little tight here. I've got uh, about an inch and a half of room on either side. I might, I might think I actually am gonna cut this to where this little cutout was here and do the same thing here and give myself another inch, at least up towards the top, just for less chance that I, you know, bump my uh, tailwheel fork. I might do that. For that, I'll use the plasma cutter. It's gonna be a lot easier to slice and dice that um, than with a die grinder. But basically, this is where we're at. And then um, just gotta work out the cradle and pivoting mechanism. And then uh, I'm gonna, like I mentioned before, I'm gonna have a linear actuator that's going to, once the wheel is up over the front edge of the cradle, uh, that actuator will pull back, pick up the cradle, and the wheel will sit in there nicely. And then, uh, and then we just drive it around. So there we go.